today yeah. for severe yes. weather, but it just proves that timing is everything with yeah. this type of weather. Yeah, you hit it right on the head there. So we had all the ingredients like yeah. you said moisture we had lift from the front yeah a lot of wind shear we had a little too much wind shear and things just did not come together at the right time and we avoided uh, severe weather Good. today we Thank dodged goodness. a big bullet now yeah. louisiana was not quite as lucky they had several warnings we did not have a single warning here in east texas so great for us but as we take a live look outside in longview we are seeing mostly clear skies it is quite breezy you can see those flags in the background blowing at that 90 degree angle that's because we do have some strong winds in the area and that oh those winds are bringing in that drier air at the surface level but cloud cover it's wrapping around behind the storm system here as that area of low pressure at the surface continues to move off to the north and to the east. So you see these clouds, they will be moving in here over the next couple of hours. Now the rainfall totals not very much across Smith and Gray County. We saw maybe a tenth, two tenths of an inch at most in Smith County, heavier amounts to the northeast and portions of Longview and Jefferson, but heavier totals they were reported by radar in Sabine County. And this is the county that really needs to see the rain a half inch to about an inch and a half. That's what we saw there, which will really help us in breaking that drought there. But again, we still need to see a lot more rain before we can give Sabine County the all clear from that drought because we have level three, level four droughts still out for the area. Winds, they're getting stronger across the area. Five, 10, 15, 20, 21 mile per hour winds being reported in Longview. Mineola picking up 14 mile per hour winds right now. 50s and 60s to the north. Quitman's at 59. It's 60 and over 10, 61 in Mount Enterprise. Nacogdoches, Texas at 61. And we are in the low to middle 60s across <gasps> deep east Texas. Dew points, they're coming down as well. They are lower due to the lowering humidity coming in behind the front. 49 with increasing clouds after midnight. Tomorrow's forecast. Cast. Temperatures in the 50s will go from mostly cloudy to partly cloudy by tomorrow afternoon. Here are the next seven days. I've got high temperatures below normal. Normal high temperatures about 66 based on historical averages. We'll be dry through Saturday, maybe an isolated shower or two Sunday and Monday. Lows will be in the 30s and 40s. And then as we look at deep east Texas, similar deal. Highs at about 57 Tuesday and Wednesday, an isolated shower possible Thursday for Thanksgiving, 62 Friday. Neil, Casey. All right.